Hi, I'm Tom with GoMeasure3D. Uh, today I am going to show how uh, you would scan objects that are normally difficult to scan with structured light scanners. So we have a reflective object, uh, we have a dark object with uh, glossy features, and then we also have a transparent glass bottle. So, uh, what we use for the transparent or reflective objects is developer spray. It's uh, a spot check SKDS2 developer spray. Uh, so just to show you how easy this spray is to use, um, it, it's not very thick, it's a very thin layer of spray and it's very easy to remove uh, from your parts. It's as simple as brushing your hand over it, uh, you know, a paper towel or whatever, and then to reapply, uh, it's as easy as just couple good squirts and once it dries uh, you'll see the white up here. So now uh, I want to explain a little bit about this reflective part. You'll notice that I did not spray every surface of this part. We still have uh, some flat surfaces here that are still reflective. Uh, however, when you're scanning reflective parts, the only part that you do need to spray is within tight corners and uh, these holes here because light will bounce around inside those features as opposed to the flat planes, uh, it does not. So, I will show you um, how you would go about scanning a part like this and then I'll show you the completed model once I'm finished. So because we're using a stationary scanner, um, we will not gather the underside of this part. If we needed to, uh, it's as easy as turning the part over onto the other side, scanning that side, and then aligning the two models together. Um, I have already done that prior to this video, just so that I won't have to be uh, messing around with that in the middle of the video, but it's a process that takes right around 30 seconds, maybe a minute, depending on the size of your part. Uh, but it, it's no problem at all. So now that my scan is processed, um, I will need to adjust the exposure on this part uh, because there are some areas that I did not gather, uh, but I did that ahead of time. So I'll show you uh, what your model would look, look like if you were to do that. So these are just the different files. I'll pull up the full completed model. So here is our full 3D model of the part to see that uh, this surface here that is still extremely reflective, uh, we were able to capture data on that surface and also in these tight corners and these holes, uh, we've got the information that we needed. So that is the reflective object. We'll move on to the dark object. Now you'll notice I did not spray this part at all, not even where the glossy uh, material or surface is. Um, with all of our structured light scanners, the only step that you need to take when uh, gathering information on parts like this is adjusting your exposure. Uh, so you are simply just lengthening the amount of time that you're scanning. Uh, this will mean that your part and your scanner will have to be in a very uh, stable and stationary position uh, because if there's movement, because the exposure uh, and scan time is lengthened, uh, you could risk some excess noise, but once that is done, uh, you'll notice as opposed to what we saw before, uh, the scanner was capturing uh, very quickly, but since we have uh, extended the exposure, it will take just a few moments longer. So I'm just going to get a few frames of this part here. I want to go ahead and show you the finished product and that we were actually able to pick up information uh, in those difficult areas. So here's our full 3D model of the mouse. Uh, you'll see that in these lines here where there is some reflective or glossy surface, uh, we were able to pick up that information just by simply uh, turning up the exposure, uh, even in the center, uh, on the side, and on the bottom where it's extremely dark. Uh, we're normally, for structured light scanners, it would be very difficult to pick up information uh, on parts like this. So now that we've covered the dark objects, uh, let's move on to the transparent. So for the transparent, as opposed to 
the dark or uh, the reflective object, you do have to coat the entire part uh, with the developer spray. Uh, simply because we are measuring with light, and if any light passes through the object, no measurements or data will be collected. Uh, so, you'll see that I have covered the entire uh, bottle with the developer spray. And then, again, I'm just going to get a few frames uh, here just to show you that it, in fact, is able to scan this part. And then I'll show you the complete full 3D model once I'm finished. And because we are dealing with a lighter object, uh, we are able to bring the exposure time down. Uh, so you see here that it is scanning relatively fast. So once it is finished, I will show you the finished product. Okay, so now that I have aligned all of the frames, uh, you will see the full complete 3D model of this glass bottle here. Uh, so thanks for watching this video. If you would like to view any of these models, please scroll to the bottom of the screen. Uh, they should be there for you to check out.